we shall show how to how to do the Polya's four-step strategy to solve problems. Example 1.41, make predictions based on the patterns. Consider the figure below. So what are these? These are like collections of sticks and they are, they are at right angles with each other. Suppose the pattern of adding two shorter line segments to each end of the shortest line segments continues. How many segments are found in, in A sub 12? So that is the 12th term. And the 21st term, A sub 21. Let us begin by understanding the problem. So what is this? Uh, if I were not a math person, what I would do is I will draw the line segments which were described in the instruction. Draw line segments at the ends of the shortest line segment. So I will draw, I will draw those line segments and then I will count them. Two line segments here, here, so on and so forth. And I will count them. And then I will do it until I get to the 12th term and the 21st term. And then I will count the sticks. So this is a counting problem. We can look at this as a sequence of terms. A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3. And the elements of the sequence are the number of sticks. The number of sticks in each term. So we must look for the 12th term. What is the 12th term? What is the 21st term? So let us devise a plan. The plan is to find a pattern and then use the pattern to, to guess, to make an intelligent guess about the 12th and the 21st term. So this is what I did. I continued with drawing the sticks. I continued with, with the 4th term. And what you do is you will draw you will draw smaller sticks at the end of the shortest line segment. And then you will count it. You count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So the fourth term is 16. I will go on with the fifth term. Again, I will just draw it. Draw the line segments at the end of each the shortest the segment in the figure. And then I will count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, okay, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32. The fifth term is 32. So, you know what? If I were not a math person, what I would do is I would go on, draw the figures until I get to the 12th term and the 21st term. But then I realized it would take me the manila paper, a manila paper on which to draw the sticks. And when I get to the 21st term, I may have to go outside. I may have to go to the basketball court, get a chalk, and there on the court, draw this takes until I get to the 21st term. Well, if you want to do it that way, if I were not a math person, I would do it that way. But we are a math person. We know how to find the pattern. What is the pattern? Turns out that this is like a sequence. The first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, so on and so forth. So, so these are the elements of your first five terms. So these are the first five terms of your sequence. There are two sticks in the first term. There are four sticks in the second term. That is two squared. There are eight sticks in the third term. That is two cubed. There are 16 sticks in the fourth term. That is two to the fourth. And there are 32 sticks in the fifth term. That is two to the fifth. So, we can see now here the pattern and let us write it out. The pattern is, or the general term, that is how we call it in geometric sequence. The general term is 2 to the n. So, if we want to get the 12th term, we just have to compute for 2 to the 12th. And that is equal to 4096. If we want the 21st term, we compute for 2 to the 21st. And that is equal to... 
2,097,152. Did we do it right? Again, that is the, the next step in Polya's four-step strategy to a solve a problem. Did we do it right? So that's like reviewing your solution. You go back to your first strategy. Did you understand the problem? Okay, so this is like a counting problem. I think we did. We, we did understand the problem correctly. This is a counting problem. We will draw short line segments at the end of each of those uh, short, the shortest line segments, and then we will count them. Okay, we discovered a pattern, which is a geometric sequence. A sub n is equal to 2 to the n. So in effect, we must look for the 12th term, which is 2 to the 12th, and that is equal to 4096, and 2 to the 21, that's the 21st term, and it's equal to 2,097,000, 2,097,152. So if you were to count the number of sticks in the 21st term, that would be a lot of sticks because that would be 2,097,152.